My first thought was that I'd lost it, cracked like a walnut. I'd heard tales of weary adventurers, sailors and the like, falling victim to visions in the night. Faces in the water or shadows of people that weren't really there. Oh. But this boy in the snow was real. And he was dying. Oh no. Did we just leave him here to get Graham? Or did, 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 uh, did Cloud go and get him? Graham! Look at this sword, this, that symbol on the hilt. Isn't that the crest of the royal family? Uh-oh. Hey everyone, this is Superdose. Welcome back to a new episode of A Story Beside. Now, uh, apparently, it's been about a year and a half since the last update. Um, according to my Steam, the last time I played this was in March of 2020. Now, we all know what happened in March 2020. Uh, I think I, I think the last chapter came out pretty much right before everything went crazy, and that is also if I read the uh, game makers thingy, uh, write em up thingy. Primary reason why this all took so long to come out. It felt like it was early this year, but yeah, supposedly it's like a year and a half ago. Um, I'm pretty sure last thing that happened, well. If I'm a smart boy, I have made a little previously on before this. Um, but I can probably recommend you to rewatch the entire series. It's fun. Or at least, you know, watch the last episode or something, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to do my best to make like a previously on thing. So hopefully, hopefully I put it up here. Anyway, last thing I remember uh, is... Lyric came back to her village, was abandoned after seven years. Everybody pretty much went away. Uh, we, we stayed there. Oh, we still have an inn with our husband, whose name I've completely forgotten. Uh, at, at this point, I should probably just restart a new game, but I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah, we've, we still got our inn running. There's like one person per year is coming through. That's about it. Yeah. Let's see what happens in, in, in chapter six. Out of seven, I believe. Let's go. I am so excited for this. You have no idea. Well, it looks like seven, oh, seven years later once again. Looks like the endless winter has disappeared. There were also a lot of shadow monsters. That's what I remember. Hey, those look like... People. <laughs> I don't know who those are. Uh, oh, it's Noah. Uh, who's Noah? Noah and Emma? I don't think I know those characters. We reckon it's about time to get the fire started, but no real hurry if you're lost in thought. We didn't mean to interrupt, so... Prob what I assume is happening is that there have been, in the seven years, there have probably been new people that uh, are now repopulating the village, I suppose. Oh no, not at all. I'd love to make myself useful. But what I've told you about calling me Ms. Lyric. What have I told you about calling me Ms. Lyric? Just Lyric is fine. It sounds so formal the other way. Force of habit, miss. Sorry about that. I was thinking I'd fix a snack for everyone up at the village, if you'd be willing to help my, uh, my husband with the fire. Do you mind? Certainly not! A fireside snack sounds lovely. You're okay getting this, getting up the stairs alone, dear? I could walk you up the farmstead and back in no time at all. Uh, is she pregnant? <laughs> yeah, she is. Okay. Noah, dear, the baby isn't due until mid-autumn. If I can't manage a few stairs now, we're in for a rough couple of months. Now then, a the snack. Anything sound particularly tasty? Uh, ooh, first decision already. Uh, I'm not ready for this. Uh, baked apples? Or uh, kettle corn, I think. How about kettle corn? It's always been a favorite of mine. I'll see what I can do. Just make sure Noah doesn't set himself or anything else important on fire. Oh, and Murphy too. That dog is sweet. Oh, there's a dog. Nice. 
but there's not there's not much going on between the ears. I keep hoping old Cloud will rub off on him. Who's Cloud? Hmm. We'll be fine, Emma. Your boys are safe with me. I'm right here, you know. I never felt more emasculated. Noah and Emma Dawn. My first new neighbors in decades. Ah. Young and full of hope, but eager to see my beloved village restored. What a gift their friendship would turn out to be. Perhaps you could gather a few logs to use for tinder. I'll start getting things set up down in the fire pit. Alright, these are the first citizens then that are coming back. So, that confirms that we don't actually know them. Oh boy, are we actually playing Story Beside? Oh, we are. Oh, that's new. Hello. Graham spent nearly every... That's my husband's name, right. Graham spent nearly every morning out on the boat. He says he's never seen the lake so full of fish. So, I vaguely remember missing pretty much every big and important part. Uh, on the last episode or last chapter, so I'm still planning on doing a a, a live stream of this, making all the other decisions uh, once the entire game is out. But hopefully, that won't take another uh, year and a half. We'll see. I told Nora I'd help him collect firewood, but get to it. No, I want to know where that goes. Dang it! I don't want to look for firewood. Or oh, here's something. Take it. Should make for a good bit of tinder. We'll probably need a few more logs of this size to get the fire going. I wonder why there's an option to leave it. Since I clearly have one objective here. Oh, that's a doggy. Oh, Murphy. You're such an excitable pup. Then again, maybe I'm just used to my cloud. Oh, that's my... Here we go. I don't remember having a dog. I remember having two cats and yin. Such a lazy dog these days. Did we get Cloud? There you are! Care to join me on my quest for firewood? Or would you rather lie back down and wait for me to uh, buy the pit? Well, that's interesting though. My uh, my niece has got a dog that just look, looks just like Murphy. And his name is also Murphy. That's quite interesting. Figured. Good girl, Cloud. You've, been, you've earned quite a retirement. I, I still can't read. You've earned a quiet retirement. Sweet. Uh, there's some wood on the left. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Oh, the bridge is fixed. Was the bridge, bridge broken? I think it was. Emma said the whole village is coming to the campfire tonight. Oh, there's more people. Okay. Should make for a fun evening, even if there's only a handful of us. Well, I mean, to be fair, there was only a, ha a handful of us before, right? Who's a good boy? Who is a good boy? Is it you, Murphy? Yes, it is. You look extra fluffy today. He does, actually. Oh no, that's okay, Cloud. Don't get up on my account. <laughs> yeah, that's the dog's life. Uh, I should probably find more wood before I talk to him, right? Otherwise, I might get a bad score. This is a bit like the old days. Kelsey always made me and Graham gather the wood for our childhood campfires. Right, Kelsey's my sister, if you remember. Ooh... Once winter cleared, the king sent crews of smiths and carpenters all across the north. Oh. Okay. The new bridges and staircases were more than I expected. Not to mention all the repairs of the village. Okay, that's great. So, good guy king. Uh, but... Hopefully I, I get to know what happened there in those seven years. This bundle's getting heavy. Maybe one more? Yeah, I know exactly where it is. Yeah, good guy, King. Hey, little one. I mean, you no harm. Despite the rumors that must have spread through all your rabbit circles. <laughs> Are we eating all of them? I suppose so. That's probably enough for now. I should get those logs back to Noah and help him get the fire burning. Alright, should I explore? You're gonna stop me anyway, right? Yeah. Take it as much. I should get this firewood down to Noah. I just chuck it down there. It's no biggie. Yeah, good guy king. I wonder how the village looks. Maybe it have, sh they have expanded? I guess not, right? Guess not. A 
perfect like a firework, Mr. Lyric. Oh, don't, don't call me that. Something tells me you've done this before. Once or twice. We've got everything else we need? I believe so. I'm getting ready for things... I'm, ge I'm ready to get things burning if you are. Uh, I think I'm ready. I probably missed something already, but I'm ready. Ready, let's light it up. Everyone will be arriving soon, if you like to greet them, Miss Lyric. I believe I can manage from here. I think I'll do that, but please, it's just Lyric. Yeah. You know, Cloud, we used to do things like this all the time before. Well, before all the freezing rain and snow. For you. Okay, so we don't know Cloud, I think. We would fill our pouches with sweets and biscuits and gather around the fire, friends and family all together. Speaking of... Hello, who's that? Oh, it's it's uh, it's my hubby. Hey, love, are you and Cloud uh, the bonfire greeting party? I suppose so. It feels good to be doing this again, doesn't it? So much has changed over the years, but this still feels like the old days. Yeah, countless memories around the uh, around this old pit fire, a uh, fire pit. Sorry. Remember how scared Kelsey would get at our ghost stories? Ooh, yeah, so what happened to Kelsey in my story? She wanted to be an adventurer. She she ran away from the village pretty much. And she never came back. Yeah, that's what happened. So supposedly there's multiple outcomes for that one, but that's my outcome. Uh, Time for new stories, I guess. I surely do. But it's time for some new stories. New memories with new friends. Tonight should be about them. You're right. We have a lot of we have a lot to be grateful for here in front of us, including a fireside snack, I hope. Yep, and I fixed up some kettle corn. Should be tasty. Uh ah, wrong choice. Alright. If you say so. You know I've never liked kettle corn all that much, but I'm sure I'll be able to choke down a few bits uh, bites. See you're over there, love. I'll save you a good spot. So I wonder what the uh, what the old guy Oh dang it. Well that might be him. Uh, the old guy that lived in the village, I forgot his name completely, the, the hunter dude? It's not Isaac, is it? No. I wonder, uh, I wonder what happened to him, he's probably dead by now. Uh, Isaac. Do we know Isaac? I don't think so. That, you don't look familiar. Hey, Lyric! Uh, what's it called when a bonfire gets out of control and spreads to the local flower shop? Uh, oh, uh, hmm. I, I'm stumped. What? A florist fire! Pretty good, right? Just thought of it on the walk down from the village. <laughs> that's stupid. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. A little corny, but hilarious. Which is perfectly fitting for an Isaac original. I thought so, too. I wanted to have plenty of witty jokes prepared if we were all going to be gathering like this more often. Can't wait to share what else I came up with around the fire. I hope you're prepared to laugh tonight, Lyric. Oh, no. I'm getting some bad vibes here. We're gonna not have a good time, are we? Well, we're nearing the end of the game. I would honestly not be surprised if this is pretty much... Uh... Well, no. I can't imagine things going sour right away. They're gonna be uh... just introductions, I guess, and new characters. Oh, is the elf girl still here? Is that you? Claire, is that you? Hey, barkeep. Beautiful evening for a fire, yeah? Seems like this old mountain has been getting a fair, seeing a fair share of them late. Yeah, this is the elf girl that I allowed to stay in the, in the village. It's true. It's true, and I hope they keep coming. I'd be happy if I never saw another grey sky in my life. Cheers to that. I know winter's here was dreadful. Winter here was dreadful, but it certainly wasn't pleasant on the other side of the valley either, to put it mildly. I can't imagine. Well, I'm glad you made it through. And found yourself back. Oh, yeah, she left, didn't she? Oh, right. Back to the lovely mountain. This is my home, Barkeep. Better or worse, you're stuck with me now. That's right. Well, that's everybody, I suppose. Not too many people. 
Well, I guess we are now like what? After a certain in our forties. Even something as familiar and ordinary as sitting around a campfire can feel heavy somehow, burdened with meaning. Clouds of memories hung over us that night, like smoke over the flames. Look at all those stars. I don't think I'll ever get used to see the natural beauty of this mountain. <laughs> Me neither. The skies were always overcast back home, and there was always rowdy drinking and laughter coming from the taverns. Everything is so still here, so peaceful. It's strange. I've, li I've lived... Wait, hang on. I've lived all my years romanticizing city life, thinking this village was dreadfully boring. Uh, that seems a little harsh. I think Pyreside is the good kind of boring. It's cozy and quiet, yes. But there's still plenty of mischief to be made in these woods. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I have countless memories of running around playing make-believe with Kelsey and Graham. Little Finn too. Oh yeah, what happened to him? Made the rest of us feel rather left out. Or maybe that was just me. <laughs> oh, I recall, I recall getting in on some of, your, of our adventures. Sorry, I really cannot read today. We've made you play when we need an evil dragon or ogre to fight. Mm. An evil ogre? Ooh. I hope you didn't take that personally, Isaac. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, maybe I should have. All I remember is how much fun I had going along with you kids and your schemes. Wait a minute. So is this one of the twins? I don't think so. It'll all become clear, I guess. Tell us more stories. I love hearing about how much things, you, how things used to be in the pirate side. This village has such a rich and beautiful history. What about your sister, Graham? It's amazing that such a talented minstrel grew up in this little town. Ah. Hazel was always pretty special. Oh yes, that's a little girl. Okay. Cool. She she wrote stories, right? Clever and creative from the start. Wasn't a surprise to any of us that she ended up where she did. Especially considering who raised her. Graham's folks were pretty special in their own right. Yeah, okay, so Isaac was in our original village. Cool, he's, he's the blacksmith then, yeah. The ones who built our farmhouse, correct? Right, Hayes and I both grew up in that house. Well, hmm. What is there to say? Uh... Uh, let's, let's talk about Molly, I guess. So many things. Molly was jovial and kind and the best teacher any child could have asked for. Oh, that's adorable. I remember one lesson in particular about Axis the Shepherd. I was so entra entranced by this by his by his story, I must have asked a dozen questions. Well, I was so captivated that I hardly noticed when the class ended and everyone else ran off to play in the woods. Molly had countless other chores to see to, I'm sure, but she stayed for hours reading old books and learning together with me. Aww. <laughs> After my own parents died, there were certainly times of feeling lost and lonely. A fair share of them. But I always felt that, in a way, I still got to grow up with a mother. And that's why I usually left my wife to do the talking. <laughs> Smooth. For the record, I'm not crying. Must have just gotten a bit of smoke in my eyes. Molly sounds like a wonderful person. Quite a legacy to live up to. Working to restore the farmhouse has taken so much of our time. I'd like to start helping more elsewhere in the village. Plenty of work to do still. The tailor shop, the cabin on the cliff. It's hard to see those buildings standing empty. Oh, the cabin on the cliff is like the old guy's house, right? Those sound like worries for the morning. Tonight's about reminiscing, isn't it? Tell us another story from the old days. Hmm. Well, me and Kelsey got into plenty of trouble over the years. I'm sure I have stories about her. Ooh, embarrassing or heartfelt? Ooh. <sighs> heartfelt, I guess. If you want to hear the embarrassing story, you're going to have to tune into my stream, whatever that is. Nice, thanks. Ah! One, uh, one time, this filthy adventurer came into the inn, yelling that he needed a bath. I've seen, uh, I've seen to my share of rude guests over the years, of course. 
Of, of course I have. It is me not cool with something else. Covered in dirt, slimy jelly, slime jelly in what he had. And what to have been his own blood, he demanded I drop a bath and wouldn't take no for an answer. Lovely, what did you do? Honestly, I think I would just put it up to put up with it. Confrontation has never been a strength of mine. But Kelsey She got right up in his face. No fear at all. Told him if he was going to talk to us that way he could find a different inn. How brave, what did the man do? Well he didn't listen. So Kelsey decided to take more drastic action. <laughs> she hit him over the head with a broom and chased him out of the inn. Quite a sight to behold, her wielding that like a broadsword. <laughs> Way to go, Kelsey. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw her get that angry before or since. And it was to protect me. Kelsey had her flaws, but she was a true friend. I just love these stories. I could listen to them all night. Well, I've got nowhere else to be. How about the rest of you? I can't imagine a lovelier way to spend the evening, or a lovely folks to spend it with. Just broke open a new bottle of wine. I'm here for the long haul. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. To another quiet night in Pyreside. Oh, that's adorable. I'm happy they're all doing well. Oh, Cloud, tuckered out after an evening of napping, are you? I suppose a bonfire is thrilling as things get these days. I honestly didn't know if you ever get back here, Graham. Back to the quiet days and evenings full of laughter. I sure miss them. Well, now we know not to take them for granted. As many as we got left, we'll appreciate every last one. Together. <laughs> every last one. Including tonight? Including tonight. A nice. Alright. I think that's a really good point to stop. It's gonna be a bit of a shorter episode, I'm sorry. But uh yeah. Seems like a good point to stop. We'll continue this. In the next episode, obviously. Hopefully you're excited. Hopefully you're just as, as hyped as I am. Uh, to see what happened to the village. And what's going on. And what's going to go wrong. Something is going to happen, right? We're near the finale, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Story Beside or other games. And we'll see each other next time. Bye-bye!